Welcome to the Spirituality Simplified YouTube channel and the sixth and final video of this short series uh, covering the six step breath process of my book, Overcome the Overwhelm. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, please just hit pause on this and go back to the first video of Overcome the Overwhelm, this little mini series that covers my book. For most of you, you've already watched the other videos or you came here from the QR code in the book. So welcome back. Thank you for being here. Let's just take a moment and celebrate because we have gone through five steps and this is the final step and the first four steps y'all were heavy even that fifth step that last video was pretty heavy so I want you to take or I invite you to take a moment to just congratulate yourself and honor the fact that you're taking this serious and you're actually showing up for yourself and you're not just going through the motions right because so many people when we get books and there's lines for journaling or there's a QR code and we're enjoying the book we don't actually take action and we don't integrate new habits and behavior so the fact that you're here you scan the qr code and you're working with the journaling prompts i want you to honor that i invite you to honor that because that's huge that's how you're going actually have a transformation most people just say they want things, but they don't actually want it bad enough. As Napoleon Hill wrote in his book in 1937, Think and Grow Rich, we need to have a burning desire from within. And I can't give you that burning desire, nor can a loved one, a coach, or anyone else in your life. That burning desire has to come from within. And once you find that burning desire, that's where the transformation happens. So the fact that you're scanning the QR code and you're watching this video and you're quote unquote doing the work tells me that you have that burning desire. So congratulations. I am proud of you. And if I can support you in any way at all in your journey of being real with how you feel to support your mental health through the practice of soul life balance, just reach out to me. You can leave a comment with this video or find my email in the description to reach out to me privately as well. So with that recap of the six steps, the first two steps are all about breathing. This, uh, that's the first phase. The second phase, which is the third and fourth step, is all about feeling. In this final phase, we're thinking intentionally. That started with step number five in the last video where we did the shatter limiting beliefs visualization and you built an empowering belief. Now we're at the H in the acronym breath, which is habits to integrate because all of this will be in vain if you don't actually integrate any new habits and behaviors in your life. And when I use the word integrate, what I really mean is take action. You know, it's so similar to going to like a conference or an event. We see an inspirational speaker or maybe we meet someone or we have an idea or whatever. And when we come home from that conference, we're like, oh, inspired. And we're like, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And what happens for most people? You have a long list of to do's, you're overwhelmed, you're playing catch up, and we don't actually take action on all that inspiration we had from the conference. And my role is more than being a breathwork facilitator, an author, or a keynote speaker is an integration guide. I help people to guide them to taking action so that when they have this inspiration, they're not just stuck again because it's within our habits and our behavioral changes that we actually experience transformation. And the six step breath process is no different. That's why the final step is habits to integrate. Basically, we're looking at all the first five steps when we go through the six step breath process to process an emotion in real time. And we kind of go back to step number three with like the energy that's being revealed. And we ask ourselves, what needs to change in my life? Maybe you keep having the same emotion or story coming up again and again in your life. If you don't make habits and behavioral changes, then it's going to continuously replay, which is why I really emphasized in step three and four to accept and to surrender and to slow down and to really let that energy reveal something to you. Because when it's being revealed to you, now you can go back to that and be like, okay, what needs to change in my life? And it might be something simple. It might be something a little bit more complex. But the point is something needs 
to change. Again, habits to integrate, it's going to be unique to each person and to every time that you do the breath process. For me, sometimes that comes up when I walk through the breath process is like, oh, wow, for the past few days, I haven't done my morning breath work and I feel disconnected from my breath. And a habit change I need to do is recommit to doing morning breath work, even if it's just for five minutes. Or maybe I'm doing the six step breath process and I'm like, wow, I've been really binge eating and emotionally eating recently. I need to be more focused and not just uh, distract and numb myself. Those are just some examples that may or may not resonate with you. It can be something simple like that, or it could be something big where you keep having this experience come through. And when you sat with this energy, now it's just abundantly clear where it's like, that's the thing I need to do. And now it's up to you to actually take action and do that thing. So with all of that said, I do have a free five-day challenge that I mentioned in the last video. It's called the Shatter Limiting Beliefs Challenge. It's completely free. It's a five-day challenge that has an online pre-recorded course. It's very short. Also has an online community for support as well. So if you want to check out that free challenge, it has to do with the Shatter Limiting Beliefs that we did in the last exercise. Go to the description of this video and you can sign up for that free challenge. It's helped hundreds of people. It's the foundation the origin story of overcome the overwhelm six step breath process. So I know you'll really enjoy that if you've been enjoying the book and these six steps. With all of that being said, if you're interested in working with me in a coaching consultant type of way or having me speak at an event or to your company, feel free to reach out. I also have my monthly breath club, which is specifically designed for busy professionals. And it's a way for us to drop in and support one another. So with all that being said, thank you so much for showing up for yourself. I hope you feel proud because more than anything, you need to feel that for yourself. So please honor that. And if there's anything I can support you in your journey, please just feel free to reach out. I hope to see you in the free challenge or connect with you real soon. And thank you again from the bottom of my heart. I'm sending you so much love and I'll see you soon.